Grace is an active congregation, and our building is busy most days and nights with church and community groups. Grace also rises to the challenge of giving when a special project or need is identified. Marv Billfell has been a member at Grace for more than 25 years. I get excited about projects. The sanctuary construction that we, were, we undertook here was, was very exciting for myself and the whole community. And I felt uh, really motivated to give generously towards that project. And I'm sure in the future that uh, any additional special projects that come up in the church, that I'll, I'll have a similar reaction and, and I'll, I'll support them generally, generously as well. Uh, I care about Grace United Church. I feel a responsibility to support it financially, uh, to give my share, just the same as I feel it's important to support my family at, at home. Fundraising for the new sanctuary, the gym roof, and the grand piano are examples of fundraising challenges the congregation has met in recent years. The sanctuary alone was a $900,000 project. Grace maintains a number of special funds, about $120,000 in generous gifts from Grace folk which underwrites special ministry needs and projects beyond our annual budget. Some people give because they are proud of Grace's service to the community and beyond. Um, I'm a very community-oriented person and, and really um, like to give to our community. And um, Grace is a church that um, has a reputation for opening up its doors to many different groups that would like to use its building. Uh, and as well, um, Grace does signif a significant amount of outreach to groups that are very needy in the community. Uh, and in general, when you speak to people about Grace in the community, um, they often say, gee, I hear that's a great place to worship and to, uh, to be a member. <laughs> Over the past two years, Grace groups and committees have contributed to a number of local and international projects. Grace also provides both free and affordable meeting space for a number of community organizations. Some people give because they have discovered that tithing is a spiritual discipline in the Christian tradition. Gordon Bev Wackling are members at Grace. And I tithe because I always have tithed. It, it's something that my parents instilled in me, I guess, when I was young. Um, I, a, a Christian ethic, you might call it. But tithing is like a starting point. It doesn't have to end there. And, and tithing is not just giving one's money. It's also giving one's time uh, and, and one's abilities. Why do I tithe? Well, it's something Gord and I have both been doing since very early in our married life. And it, it's something that... Um, has really just become a way for us to put God first in what's going on in our lives. It's a starting out point. Um, Gord said it's the least that we can do. And that means that, um, you know, throughout the year, if, if something really strikes us and we're moved, we can give more than that. Tithing, or percentage giving, can be applied to all charitable givings. I remember when I got my first job in elementary school, my father took me aside and taught me to give the first 10% of what I made back to God, either through the church or through a charity. I think there's an element of practical wisdom here. The, the wisdom of 
uh, not living on more than what you take in, the wisdom of not living beyond your needs. Some people find it helpful to see the big financial picture, and they adjust their givings according to the need. There were 332 contributing households in 2007. Last year, the average contribution per household at Grace was about $1,300. About 30% of our contributing households gave above the average, and about 70% of our contributing households gave below the average. That means that about 13% of households contributed half the budget, and about 87% contributed the other half. When contributions are broken down into thousands of dollars, we see that 60% of households contributed less than $1,000 annually. 20% of households contributed between $1 and $2,000. And the remaining 20% of households contributed more than $2,000. However you're able to give, your contribution adds value to Grace's Ministries. Whatever your reasons for giving, we encourage your ongoing support of Grace's many ministries. Help us continue to add value to our community and the world. Help us make a difference in God's world. Our 2008 budget is set at $426,000. That's about a $30,000 increase over last year's actual givings. If each household gave an additional $90 this year, or eight more dollars each month, then we'll be able to meet this goal. Using the tithing approach, if households compared their givings to income and aimed for a 1% increase in charitable givings, Grace would benefit along the way. People share their time, talents, and treasures for a variety of reasons, but they all add up to making a difference. We are stewards of God's grace. And as stewards of grace, we aim to make a difference in God's world and in the lives of others. We are growing stewards of grace, and we invite you to grow with us. May God bless you as you stay to hear God's word. Together, our financial support can help Grace United Church make a difference in the world.